Hi and welcome to another Type with me. In this video I'm gonna talk about node modules with TypeScript and ES modules. We're gonna see how we can create a project for node modules and that we also can use them with ECMAScript modules and publish them so they can be used without the use of TypeScript themselves. So let's go and see how we can do that. So first of all, we're going to initialize our project, right? We do that with npm init dash y. So let's do that. Great. Then we need to add TypeScript to our project. So we do that with npm install our TypeScript uh, module. So that's what we did. That's great. And now we can do something like mpx tsc dash dash init. So now we're going to create a TypeScript config.json file, right? And here we have something that already is usable for our TypeScript project. So we are going to make this a little bit simpler. What we're going to do is we're going to do it like this right so this is a little bit simplified and now we're going to look at the properties that we need to publish it as an ES module right so let's go and do that all right so first of all we have here target and target is a very special one because that's uh, the, the one that we're going to use uh, when um, we want to execute it in the browser or within Node. And there we need to define uh, an ECMAScript version. So if you have older browsers, well, then you need to put there an older ECMAScript version, right? So the older your browser is that you need to support, the older also your target needs to be here within uh, uh, this this context. So what we can do is we can do ES3. That's the oldest one that's been supported. But again, that's not very easy to, to work with. So uh, in this example, we are going to use ECMAScript 2015. So the next one is modules. And this uh, is which model system the compiler is going to use when it is going to translate TypeScript towards uh, JavaScript, right? And which module system he's going to use to do imports and, and so on. So if you want to use it within Node.js, yeah, it, it's, it's normal that you're also going to use, uh, common.js, uh, of course. But in our case, we're going to use ECMAScript 2020. Uh, you have also possibilities to have, um, a build system where we are going to use, uh, two outputs and also where you can defer these two, but that's something that I'm going to explain a little bit later. So just to make it simple, we're going to create here a folder source. We're going to add file add.ts. We're going to put a function in that folder. So, and, and this is just a very simple but nice function to add two numbers, x and y, uh, together, right? We're going to add another file, subtract.ts, right? And here we're going to put a function with two numbers, right? <laughs> that subtract each other from each other. So that's also a nice one. And now we need to add another file, index.ts, right? And here we're gonna put or add and or extract. Um, and, and, and this is very important. You will see that we have here add uh, .js and here also subtract .js. And that's important because for the ECMAScript modules, we need to have an extension, right? If we don't provide that, then um, browsers and also Node will have problems with that. So it's just for the ECMAScript modules that we need to put the extension there, right? Great. 
So now the next step is to go to our tsconfig.json file. And here we need to say to uh, TypeScript that we want to have our uh, code being outputted to a directory. And in our case, it needs to be the lib folder. So also for that, I'm going to create here a folder called lib. And there our code will be generating. All right. And then, of course, we need to tell TypeScript which files we need to include um, and need to deal with when we compile them towards a JavaScript. And in our case, our TypeScript files are within the source folder, so we need to put here source, right? So the next thing that you just can do is just execute uh, this command to uh, compile your TypeScript code towards the lib folder. Uh, you will see that he still gets that we still get some warnings, but that's not a problem uh, at all. Uh, so when we go and take a look at add.js, you will see that we have here our function add. Here we have our um, index.js, right? And here we have our subtract. So now we have three problems that we need to solve. One of the problems is that you will see that we have here uh, JavaScript uh, functions, but we don't have typings, right? So when uh, somebody that want to use our library within a TypeScript uh, configura configuration, uh, he will not have the right typings. So that's something that we need to solve. Another thing is that uh, Node.js doesn't support uh, ES modules, so we also need to have a fallback for CommonJS. So that's another thing. And the last thing that we need to solve is the fact that we have here some problems uh, with uh, the uh, iterator result um, thing. So that's also something that we need to solve. So let's do that first. So what we need to do is we need to do npm install at types slash node and then dash save dev to save that as a dev dependency so when we go here to um, package.json you will see that it has been added to dev dependencies and then when we execute this again you will see that we don't get that error anymore so that's very great another thing to solve is our declarations so we can very easily do that by adding here a property declaration true and this will add uh, .d.ts files towards uh, your lib folder so when we now execute this you will see that we will have that solved all right so now we will have here dot d dot ts files and you will see that we have our typings here right so that's that's very great so the last thing that we need to solve is we need to have a common gs output so that's the next thing that we are going to do and for that we need to have a not in our lib folder, but um, globally. So I'm gonna put my uh, thing here. Now I'm going to create a new file, tsconfig-cgs.json. And here I'm going to put the following code so you will see that we extend from tsconfig.json right and we we change the compiler options from the module towards common.js and we say that we want to have it in the output directory lib slash cgs so here in lib we add a folder cgs right and um so when I go to package.json here and I put the following script here, we're going to combine 
tsconfig.json and tsconfig test cgs .json, then uh, we are safe also here i need to have that folder uh, cgs right to 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 output it true then when i do npm run tsc i first need to save it here and then i need to execute it and then you will see that he will execute it and we will have both something in our lip and something in uh, cgs right or common gs folder you will see also here that it has completely different code or here it has completely different code than what we have right here and right here so that's also nice to see that this is uh, the module uh, common js and this has the module es 2020 what is being config configured here right so it's also nice to play around a little bit and see what he has uh, compiled uh, what he compiled it to so so the last part is to add certain things towards package.json so the first thing that we need to do is here change main and we need to change main to lib slash slash cgs slash index.js and why do we need to uh, use a common js because that's the one that will be uh, mainly being used by a lot of um other packages right so within the node.js context but also within the browser this will still be be usable uh, right and then for ECMAScript uh, modules we can use module and here we can do slash lib slash index to js right and then of course we have in package to json something like files We only want to publish the lib files right so we publish them and then uh, one thing that's also very important is our pre uh, publish script whenever we do npm publish you will see that we also have something like a pre publish script and in this case we can do npm run tsc uh, so that whenever we do a publish he also uh, does the compilation of our TypeScript files towards the lib folder, right? So that's it. We learned how to set up something where we can generate uh, code for the ES modules. We generate we generated code for Node.js. We added our declaration files there, and we saw how to set things up within package.json. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot about it and that you can do something with it uh, in the future. Thank you very much and see you next time. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, it means a lot uh, to me. Uh, so thank you very much.